President Buhari don't sign the Deep Offshore Act with them being amen. And Nigeria, they blame Cameroon for recent flooding for some parts of the country. Some people now for inside one illegal detention center for all your states. Now you don't get their freedom. FCTA, one reintroduced sanitation officers for inside the FCT. Good afternoon and welcome to Wazobia Max TV. This is na Asi Take Happen. My name is Adate Honkwe. On top of the first story where we say we carry come today, and Nigeria now done they join the rest of the world to mark the World Tsunami Awareness Day on Tuesday. As Imatabi, the co-founder of Everything Cities, will be Deji Akin Pelu. He talks in Lagos no fit to survive the tsunami disaster where we say if it happen and how things go be for inside there. Akin Pelu tell Wazobia Max TV to repair will be Joy Kalio. Say Lagos State Government now don't they do plenty things like landfilling them. Why the people where be say they live for all those water area, they build for wrong places where it be say they make them they lose wetland. And this wetland now supposed to help them protect the edge of the ocean from wave action to reduce the impact of plenty flooding. Him to talk say the people where be say they live for communities where get water around Lagos, don't they use plenty dirty now to fill their land to protect themselves too from water and say if serious flood or any natural disaster happen, it will affect them badly. And as it be so inside the matter, UN General Assembly been done set aside in November 5 every year as World Tsunami Awareness Day. Now this one now go sharply carry us enter the next story where we get for today. As the matter be, Nigeria they accuse Cameroon of heavy flood, sake of the kind flood where BC affects Adamawa, Taraba, and the Benue state, plus including the level of water where BC rise for inside the Lokoja, the Kogi state capital. As a young gift to read people for inside Abuja on Monday, Director General of Nigeria Hydrological Survey Services will be Engineer Clement Nze. He talks say Cameroon authorities no give Nigeria any notice or any signal at all at all before they release water from Lagdo Dam. Engineer Nze talks say this one day against the memorandum of understanding between the two countries, especially as it concerns the release of plenty of water from their dam. For us this year, we are downstream, we are the receiving end. They release water from the dam without uh, informing us. You will read the details of my correspondence with them. Text messages, but their own response is what I put there when I was under pressure. I was calling them, sending clips taken from our general officer in, in Yola, sending to them, see what it is not ordinary at this season of the year. Then they gave us a tacit response by saying the dam was opened on the tent and close for the rainy season on the 31st of uh, October. Still on top of the matter, the Director General of Nigeria Hydrological Survey Services don't want to say the waterway they flow through River Benue down to River Niger and the communities them inside the Kogi state. And people where we say they live for east and south go experience a heavy flood as the rain don't reduce. Now we can't they call on the Bongi government to say make the people where they inside the Kogi Delta Edo rivers and the Bayelsa, plus including Anambara state. So made them sharply pack plenty of their things then now go higher grounds as the water they find a way to enter Atlantic. We shall identify the communities that are vulnerable. So now that we are not yet out of the flooding season because of the current situation of release of water, you should arm them with more information to put more measures on ground to evacuate people to higher Back to our first story for Inside Today, we want to join our Tori person, will be John Emmanuel, for the World Tsunami Awareness Day, where it happen. John. Yeah, yeah. Okay, make it sharply yeah. tell us where you did and uh, how the thing they be on top of the awareness where they do for tsunami. Yes, uh, United Nations now said every November 5th to be the day where they will give awareness about tsunami and other 
natural disasters will follow, especially the one will happen through water and through rock. Now, as I did for Papi Rock, now what would they call it? They can try to see how people will be still around this rock because recently, it gave one extreme away happen. One know whether people they live around here, don't they take precautionary measures to know how will they live in case any natural disasters happen. And I will tell you one thing like that. This is why I didn't So many people they live with houses come uh, close to this uh, uh, stone. Because today now we are NSD. And the, re the reason why they set up today for our NSD is to educate Nigerians, educate the whole world. See, it gets the two practices where they do what they're supposed to stop, especially as it regards the environment where they be. Now, uh, this tsunami, uh, for over, from, uh, for according to the record now, for over 100 years, 58 tsunamis don't take place. And these are these 58 tsunamis. That's where they don't record now. About 260 deaths. And the worst way happened, like the way happened for 2004. That was like the one way happened for the India Ocean. Uh, yes, the tsunami will happen way start from the India Ocean. I record across countries like uh, Thailand, Bangladesh, and uh, Indonesia. And that was almost, almost 270 people died. Now, after this thing, I get very important. See, people suppose they are aware of this way they happen around the environment, the natural disasters. And now, Nigeria Hydrological Services Agency now come to mark this day with that one way they give people this for especially sad because now, see, they happen now. They get flooded with the happen for northeastern uh, states like uh, Karaba and Adama. Uh, so, they, they want to say, time will come when we say, this water will flow. They, they almost, of course, they will channel themselves. Water must find a way to run. So they will, they will later flow to the southern part of the country. And that is why all the states of southern Nigeria, especially Delta, Ambra, and Kogi, suppose they shine their eyes and keep. So people now come to ask, like, what do you do they do on their own part? So you shall see, when this will happen, the people never suffer and may not. So government is supposed to do their So now, what do you mean? The nice and the talk. So they don't matter the big government here, on the matter. So they will know how uh, they will carry, see how they will mitigate this matter so that when this thing will happen, you know, to affect the people. Now, uh, that will end yet. Recently, for part two, there was an air tremor. So NASA and today, when we speak to the, the, the DG, they tell us that people where they stay, not only for water alone, people where they stay for areas like Pate and other rocky areas, maybe they be careful. Now, it's a self if it just take my around, even before, because of that. Well, now we'll see how houses they spring up. And anytime where anything happens, air tremor, air tremor, it will affect these buildings. So these people now, NASA don't know what they say. Them too, apart from those people who say water, because this is uh, this tsunami, now extra people they have to water, and I the cost. So now these people are them too supposed to be very careful about the kind of environment they say, and they can't see what they're supposed to do to ensure, say, this kind of natural disaster not going to happen again. Okay, no. thank you very much, John Emmanuel. That now, John Emmanuel, the reports from Pape. On top of this award, Tsunami Awareness, the way we say that they do, to let everybody prepare yourself for some kind of natural disaster if it happen anytime. Now, this one now, you go carry us enter the next story where we get for today. President Mohamed Buhari now don't sign the Deep Offshore Act where we see them being amended. And when even they announced this one for the talk paper where the senior special assistant to the president on top of media and publicity, Ogagar Bashe, will be in CARICOM. Him talk say the signing, say not, ceremony, the signing ceremony been happen on Monday. And according by President Buari, he described the signing as important day for Nigerians, but particularly the young generation. According to him, again, thus Nigeria will now receive their share of income from our own and natural resources for the very first time since 2013. MC Talks say the sharp, sharp reduction for cost of exploration and the extraction, plus including maintenance of oil field, they happened more than 25 years. The chief of staff uh, to the president, Abba Kiyari, being witness the signing. And sharply we enter another story where we see carry come. For inside the Senate, the Committee on Top Judiciary, Human Rights and Legal Matters don't recommend the confirmation of Justice John Toho and Justice Benedict Kanib as Chief Judge of the Federal High Court and President of the National Industrial Court. The committee where Senator Okweyemi Bamidele been lead, now he confirmed the two justices them after one secret screening will happen inside the National Assembly building for inside Abuja. After the screening, Senator Bamidele Konyan say, no democracy fit grow with the judiciary where be saying no pure. Leaders were recommended 
recommendation by Mr. President, uh, also must have been informed by I mean, your antecedents and the kind of reputation that precedes you. It is part of our own understanding that the mood, both in the executive and executive arm of the government as well as in the judicial arm, should allow the Supreme Court appoint the required number of justices as provided for in our constitution, which is 21 altogether, with a view to helping the Supreme Court to be able to also take care of many of the cases that have been pending. Same for appointment of additional justices of the Court of Appeal. But we know all of these have financial implications. And these are not implications, these are not issues that can be addressed within the envelope given to the judiciary. And of course, the rest assured that we will do all we can to ensure that the legislative arm of government works with the executive arm of government, uh, not for our justices and judges, it's nothing personal to, to them. Uh, but for our democracy to survive, because there is no alternative to what we are doing. The only alternative you know, is anarchy, and no one prays for that. So we will do what we have to do on our part. And I also just want to assure you of all our colleagues that Nigerians have expectations from our justices and judges, expectations that are urgent, extremely urgent. Still on top of the matter here in Yamtse, it go go to make it go go to make them set up special intervention fund to help judiciary to work well. And on top of that one, Senator Bamidele come they encourage the justice them. Say make them do their best to organize the improvement of the welfare of judicial officers them. And as if so they still talk, say they, they expect made the committee submit their report to give Senate on Tuesday. We shall probably run come up from inside that to re-enter another one. Now still for inside the Senate, the second, for inside the second time for one week now, uh, Governor of Central Bank of Nigeria, Godwin Emefele, on Monday no still show face for Senate to explain, give the committee on top finance, on top of the exchange rates for the three major government projects them. Unfortunately, the government of the Central Bank is not around, which is why he asked me to represent him at this sitting. Where is the governor of Central Bank? He was here last week Friday. Where is he? I, I know he flew out of Abuja. He was actually, I believe, in Edo State around Friday, Saturday. I knew he flew out of Abuja. It was actually a phone call that I got. Where is I'm here representing him? So there is no correspondence to that effect. Do you have a copy of the letter sent by this committee to the Central Bank? No, I don't have a copy with me, but it was read to me, sir. Uh, how can you uh, on the phone? And stay for inside the matter. This one where we say it happened. You know, go down well with the committee with Senator Solomon or Lamin Leka and be, be the leader. The committee don't shift the meeting now, go Wednesday, for the CBN governor to appear. As a matter be CBN Deputy Governor we in charge of operations we be so nubi for La Shodun. He don't show face for the Senate to young with the committee. But Senator Lami Leko insists say Ogai Mefele must still show face for there to answer all the questions. For the last one week, information was enough at least for the Senate to go to the Governor of Central and take adequate step to ensure that it's present at this occasion. And secondly, there is no formal letter from the Governor of Central Bank giving us excuses as to why they will not be appearing before us today. Maybe if such letter has come, we would have asked, I accept the fact that yes, it has come by the way of President, or we shall the meeting. In the absence of all of this, I think it is only right and proper. Or also turn on down the idea of allowing the deputy governor to represent him by a way of manner in which he has arrived there today. So I want to say, sir, that uh, majority of our colleagues have said the deputy governor of this meeting 
we will shed blue for another day. And we will give a very little window for which the government central bank and its team will reappear before this committee alongside with the Nigeria Investment Sovereign Authority. Because we have had extensive discussion with the authority, they have been here before us more than three times, question bordering on the activities, question bordering on their involvement in the nation's economy, question bordering on the project which they have embarked upon on behalf of the government, question bordering on the future of the Nigerian Sovereign Development Authority, and we discussed extensively. An area which we call the grey areas, which we have struggled upon, has led us to the idea of inviting the government of Central Bank to appear before us and give further verification as this simple item we are to dealt with affects the nation's budget and by extension the activities of government transaction on a day-to-day -day basis. I will say that uh, it's unfortunate that we have to find ourselves in this situation, but we cannot go ahead without the presence of the government of Central Bank. And uh, the, the secretaries have briefed me that we are only available on Wednesday. And Wednesday will be the date we are inviting the Governor of Central Bank to appear before the Committee on Finance alongside with the Managing Director of the Nigerian Sovereign Investment Authority at exactly 2 p.m. The committee, they touch light why the CBN exchange rate for money where BC they don't already share for different, different projects can be 325 Naira to $1 instead of the official rate of 305 Naira. Now inside this one, now we go use enter the next story where we get for today. Inside Abuja now, federal government don't talk see them they serious to see say the quality of services and goods where them they produce for inside Niger go meet the same quality and standard of inside the whole of the world. The Minister of Industry, Trade and Investment, Otumba Adebayo, now he on this one on Monday inside Abuja on top the validation workshop we consign Nigerian national quality policy. The Minister will be seen as the Deputy Director for Trade Department for the Ministry of Trade and Investment will be Abubakar Aliyu. Now he read this speech. He explains that the new quality policy go improve the economy for inside the country. I believe uh, this is an important policy which will take um, Nigeria into the next level in terms of trade. With uh, quality policy now, it's like an assurance that um, our, pro our product and services meet the necessary quality uh, and standard that for them to penetrate uh, international markets. So I'm happy uh, we are validating a policy and hopefully the Federal Executive Council will approve the policy and we have a policy that uh, will take the Nigerian economy to the next level. Still on top of the matter for inside their opening talk, the Director General of Nigerian National Accreditation and Service will be Celestine Okanya. He talks that the new draft quality policy go improve the value of goods and services them and also to help for the quality project inside the country. In second, as say, the policy, the policy now to ensure adequate capacity and to grow the economy. Now, straightforward document. We go whole manufacturers responsible, whole government responsible, all of us go do our own part so that anything we produce for this country go good. Still for inside Abuja, federal high courts now on Tuesday go hear the request where we say the defunct pension reform tax team Oga will be Abdul Rashid Mayna been make. Say make them transfer in trial, give another judge for inside the court. Make we remember, say, EFCC don't carry your gamina on the 25th of October, go Justice Okon Abang. On 12 counts, we consign illegal money and 419. Our Tory person, Abayomi Akimbola, day for court. And him go join us now to bring us updates on top of the hearing where they happen for inside court. Abayomi, I need me go sharply tell us where you day and any updates for inside court there. Uh, at the federal high court uh, for Abuja here. And uh, this morning, as they call in case for inside court, one person for Nigerian Correctional Services, one of their officials, can't give the judge 
talking about uh, justice um, a bank given one letter from the service and for the letter after the judge read the letter he can't have the counsels talking about the efcc that is the prosecutor and of course um or um Mina's counsel say they, they don't receive any letter they say no we give them the letter for the letter they write say may not they seek so you know if you come court so now what happened with that so the judge can't they talk say a situation like that the doctor will examine and talk to his sick. He's supposed to put for the letter say, okay, oh, he gonna need like one month, or oh, he gonna need like one week or oh, two days or oh, one day before he go come, you know, start to the face try again. So after they, they look at some applications where they paint before, say, okay, has it been awaiting they want made the court do? So in cancer, when they talk, say, okay, oh, even in FCC, say, they go need a medical report. That is when it day for FCC hand. He go need me then give a medical report as in everything we happen to run for the FCC custody. So um, the counsel to EFCC, when they talk, say, okay, as it be, they go need me, the Deputy Controller General of uh, Nigeria Correctional Service, we be medical doctor, may he examine them, come talk, wait till really do them, say the letter where they bring, so they know they're happy with them. So as it be, the judge don't pick uh, uh, November 7, that is on Thursday, to continue the trial. But as it be, they still inside court, whether they consider some other applications. Okay, thank you very much, Abayomi. Uh, that's now our Tori person, Abayomi Akimbola, with the report to us from Federal High Court for Inside Abuja. Sharpali, we come back with business and sports story. Make you not go anywhere at all. <music> For inside business for today, some consumers now of local rice for inside Porta Court don't tell Ogunge government now say they create intervention fund for rice farmers. This one now to help them improve the production of rice for inside Nigeria. Then being young with our to rip, uh, Wazobia Max TV to repersing will be Emmanuel Owunka as they, they complain now about the poor quality of rice. Make we sharply young with Emmanuel. We go sharply yarn with Emmanuel later to know what they the yarn for inside the day. Emmanuel been talk with a, a, one of the chairperson for Rice Contribution Association for Inside Port Harcourt, the way her name be Caroline Weke. And she really cry out about the border where B say they close as she talks, say the team really they wire them for body as the whole thing day like that. But we could still talk to Emmanuel so that we go know how everything they be for that side. Emmanuel, make Ishapali tell us uh, which part of Port Harcourt you did and what will be the reactions of people for there about the border closure. Okay, I be on my way right now for Port Harcourt. I be in between one place where we say I try to go meet more rice dealers chairman to talk to them about this rice matter. For Port Harcourt, people they fear well, well because of say, the fear say rice will increase the more the way when they increase say the thing will scarce during December period and um, people for here they, they fear well, well because of the way when the price don't increase some for now for Port Harcourt from thirteen thousand naira local rice don't enter eighteen thousand even they sell them for twenty two thousand and foreign rice don't skyrocket enter twenty four thousand enter twenty five thousand naira for year and people they fear well well and complain of people when they now be say the local rice, some of them they know they feel they eat them, especially the one when they're very affordable to members of the public. And the way they in charge of rice dealers, when I talk to yesterday, when be my three chairman for rice dealers for Port Harcourt, he can tell us say the federal government make it carry the intervention rice intervention flood um, fund, make it give everybody both south, 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 east, and south west, make the ensure say rice day everywhere, everybody they grow rice, they not just concentrate for not an side of the country okay thank you very much emmanuel for that one way you carry come that's my man for our from our port harcourt station where they report to us from port harcourt now still on top rice matter nine we day and this uh, closure of a border where we say it they worry most people as other people they cry some other people they smile as we hear saying now rice farmers for inside the canoe just they smile the worker enter bank sake of a uh, this border closure when 
this border where we say it don't dey close since. As a matter be, our Wazobia Max TV to repair the way we do maybe or do maybe go. We in talk with the association chairman and traders of uh, Kanu on top of the demand for Nigerian and foreign rice as the federal government now they consider to extend the period of border closure. Make we remember, say for inside news sometime this yesterday, the federal government been talk say they go still extend this border closure, go reach January for 2020. Now make we talk to Dumebi or Dumebu for inside Kano to know what in rice farmers and traders they talk about. Dumebi? Yes. Afternoon. Make you sharply tell us where you day and uh, one who you don't talk to on top of this whole rice matter where they happen for inside Kano. All right, currently I there for the Rice Farmers Association of Nigeria, the Akano State Chapter, the Secretariat for Inside of the Kano. And I don't follow their chairman talk with the Abu Bakar Haliu Haruna. He come out to come and they tell me, he says things when he be said and do this border closure. Say now, so people just they patronize them, they buy their rice. Unlike before, when he be say when foreign rice they enter the country, people know they too patronize local rice. But he say as they don't close the border like this, like this. Say now only local rice people they buy. And say because of this demand, we don't increase like this. The price of the local rice don't see increase. He said from farm, where we say farmers then they package and say then they sell the bag for like eight thousand five hundred. But say since when they close the border, the thing don't drop. Enter nine thousand naira, nine thousand five hundred naira. Then the people where they process and they will come put their money on top processing. Then the final market price for the rice now fourteen thousand, eleven thousand five, ten thousand five. But if they complain, he said when marketers come collect the rice from the processor side, carry it into some market. Now the marketers will come put serious price on top. The thing will come jump again from eleven thousand five where it's supposed they will they come carry and go drop for fourteen thousand naira to eighteen thousand naira. But he talks since when they close this border, said that they get many many business. And normal rice we supposed stay warehouse, so the thing will just they get dust. He said because of this one now people they patronize them and. So their markets just they move, they go front. Mm. Thank you very much, Dumebi, for that report where you carry come from Kano. Make we remember, say the main main thing we make a uh, government to close this border. Now the Kurukere way where we say that they use they bring in things. And one of the things where we say they inside their mind now for our economy to grow. We go sharply come out from inside business to re-enter for sports to know what in they happen for there. <laughs> For inside the spot, Nigeria under 23 defender will be seen, says Seth. He don't come out now when they talk, say they're very positive about the chances of the Olympic Eagles to play for the next year Olympic male football tournament. As they don't, they set now for the Afghan under 23 game for inside Egypt this weekend. The 21 year old defender being young this one as him being the chart for inside the interview for inside Ismailia for Egypt. Him talk say he knows say the thing go tough well well also for sake of the strong team way there for inside the tournament and say the Olympic ticket no be waiting him and his teammates once he down come they play about because they know say they really need the tickets. In consider they call on Nigerians now, say I beg, make everybody shower plenty support on, for them for this their journey to book the Olympic ticket for Japan for next year. Now all the to read them be this, but before we go, make we still look all our top to read them again for this afternoon. <music> President Buhari don't sign the Deep Offshore Act where them been amend. And in Nigeria, they blame Cameroon for the recent flooding for some parts of the country. Some people now nine don't gain freedom for inside one illegal detention center waiting for all your states. And FCTA, now we hear say one reintroduced sanitation officers for inside Abuja. Now all the Tory them be this as it take happen, and I still for inside Wazobia Max TV, now we day on top. My name is Adate Owunkwe. Good afternoon. To enjoy more of this, our Ugon get videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.